The following is a production of the Dallas Genealogical Society. For more information, please visit our website at www.dallasgenealogy.org. Okay, good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Susan Younger, president of the Dallas Genealogical Society, and beha on, on behalf of the DGS board, I want to welcome all of our members and we have a couple of visitors here this morning. And I do invite you to attend future meetings uh, which are held the first Saturday of the DGS year, which is September through May. Uh, Gloria Goodwin, Director of Membership, reports that there are 29 members and two visitors present today, and that is a quorum for us. The minutes from the September general meeting are available on the website and they were posted in the lobby. May I have a motion to accept the minutes if there are no corrections? Absolutely. That's Tony. Is there a second? Okay. Uh, we'll now vote on the minutes. Those in favor say A. Those opposed, no. The motion is carried and the minutes approved. Thank you. Just to let you know, the minutes and the video of uh, each meeting is posted to the DGS website uh, prior to uh, the, 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 you know, shortly after this meeting happens. And you can find the minutes and the video on the DGS website under events, general meeting and meeting minutes. And uh, at times there will be a, a video of the presentation depending on the speaker's uh, approval. Okay, let's see. Into the meeting. All right, the treasurer's report, total deposits, $2,838. Total expenses, $5,202. And the expenses are higher than usual because we had the seminar in October, and so the expenses usually come in after the revenue, so the revenue was uh, recorded prior to the, most of the expenses and we had our annual insurance premium to pay. Cash in bank as of October 31st is $27,033, and our savings account, $97,077. I am delighted in announcing that Jean Larson has agreed to be the new Director of Education. Jean served, yeah. <laughs> Jean served as Vice President from 2013 through 2015 and as Director of Education in the year 2012 and 2013, and DGS awarded her the Award of Merit in 2017. So Jean is a longtime volunteer and has served on the board uh, and as Director of Education in the past. So we really do welcome you, Jean. All right. Now, Kathleen Murray is going to come up and talk about the DGS Annual Service Awards. Hi. This is uh, your opportunity, those of you who are members, and I suppose non-members, uh, to reflect back on the last year, or perhaps even longer, about anyone that you've encountered uh, here at a seminar or an event you attended who stands out for you. Uh, in terms of contributing to the Dallas Genealogical Society and sometimes to the wider community. So we, have, we do uh, six awards, uh, potentially. Not all of them are given every year. Uh, they're listed um, right up there. Uh, four are, anyway. Uh, the Volunteer of the Year, the Award of Merit for somebody who has long served the organization in several capacities, uh, a Distinguished Service Award, uh, DGS gives that one out twice. DGS, DGS, just sorry, it's a little humor. And then we have a Heritage, <laughs> Heritage Preservation Award. Obviously, preservation is one of the uh, three major missions of the society, and preserving the heritage of Dallas County and, uh, is, is very highly important uh, to the society, so we have an award for that. The Distinguished Service Award, I think the long name for that is the Lloyd Boxtrip Distinguished Service Award. We have a couple of recipients of that here, but that's really uh, somebody who uh, stands up uh, for 
contributing in a major way to the, uh, at a national level, as well as a local and regional level, uh, to, the, uh, to the genealogical community, to the extended community. So I'd ask each one of you to please reflect on people that you know who have contributed in this society, and we make it very, very easy for you to uh, nominate them. Now, is it easy to advance the slide? Oh, way to go. So, uh, if this is a slide of the Dallas Genealogical website, I'm sure you all visit there once a week or so. Uh, it's a, it's a, just, uh, if you want to Google it, it's Dallas Genealogy, and it'll come right up. It's either .org or .com. We own both domains. We use both. But you can click on the annual awards, and that will bring you to a page that has a lot more information on it. It'll explain each of these awards in about three sentences. So this is, this, you, you tell yourself you're gonna take 15 minutes and go look at them, reflect on who you know and who you might nominate. You can look at more information and you can submit a nomination. When you do that, it'll take you to, uh, actually it's a survey monkey form, which is pretty straightforward. You type in your name, you give us your email address in case we have to follow up with you. And uh, after that, uh, you say, this is the award I'm nominating somebody for, this is who I'm nominating, and this is why I think they deserve that award. So I would ask you to go look at, see what these awards are, who's got them in the past, is very simple to do on the website, and then just reflect again on who you think might be a good person to nominate for these awards. Alternately, if you really just don't want to do it this way, you can send an email, that same information, who you are, your email address, which award, what person, and why. And you can send that to awards, plural, at dallasgenealogy.com. Don't use an org, it won't work. Uh, and that's it. So, Susan, that's all. We hope to hear from you. Uh, we, I think I didn't mention who's on the committee. Jean Larson uh, is here from the board. Patty Huff is on it from the board. And myself, and no, I got that wrong. Jean's not on the board. Gala. Gala and Jean, I. Jean volunteered before she was on the board, so she's still not. <laughs> so essentially we have three board members and me, so <laughs> but I'm happy to volunteer and to uh, help uh, chaperone this effort to conclusion. And just uh, remember to uh, save the date for the, for the awards. Uh, it's, it's, one of, it's probably the most fun thing we do in many regards. I mean, we all love the socializing, it's fun. But you get there, uh, we usually uh, class it up a little bit, you know, some tablecloths, some decorations, and there's a lot of good just socializing that goes on, and we have a decent meal. And it's a way that the society gives back to us, its members. Uh, there's no charge for any of this. Uh, so I'd encourage you all to save the day, uh, bring a friend, if there is, uh, you'd be welcome to, and encourage people you know who aren't here to come, and then you can see uh, who wins these awards this year. Thanks. Okay, so here is a slide for the December 7th general meeting, the annual awards luncheon. It is the first uh, Saturday this, month, uh, this year. Uh, we have run up against two big events, the first and second Saturdays of December, and we think that dealing with the holiday parade on the first is better than dealing with the marathon, which is on the second Saturday. So uh, it is free for DGS members and for $15 for guests. So registration is required so that we get a good count uh, and know how much food to order. And uh, we usually have some volunteer uh, positions available for an event like this. And so you can go to the main webpage to get involved and then volunteer sign up to maybe help with set up or take down. But again, December 7th, it also is going to start at 12.30 instead of 11.30. And that's because we've looked at the time of the holiday parade. And right now, <laughs> this is the route for the parade. So if you look, it, um, the parade will start at Houston and Market Street at 10 a.m., and it's supposed to be over in about two hours, and it ends across the street at City Hall in front of the library. So we're thinking that as the parade finishes at the end, the streets and the west end of downtown will open up, and you can get either from the north or from the south, get over to Wood Street and come up to the back of the library. So I think we can probably get this map put up on the website. Uh, and uh, I think you'll have less problems, especially starting at 12.30, 
hopefully the parade will be over by 12, but there will still be um, people, things happening in front of the library by 1230. So any questions about the awards process, the nomination or the luncheon? Okay, we look forward to having you all there, and be sure and go online and register. All right, upcoming SIG meetings. Today, 1.30, the German interest group will have their first meeting uh, in the fifth floor, uh, Hammond, not, is it the Hammond training room? Yes. So 1.30 today, that's kind of their in initial meeting. Uh, so you are all welcome to come attend, grab some lunch, and uh, come to the meeting. Uh, the Jewish group is at November 20th, the DNA group the evening of the 21st. Mac Gen reunion will be December 7th. Uh, the African American group, the 16th, and best practices on the 23rd. Uh, for more details and information about the meetings, you can always check the DGS website under events, special interest groups. All right, today's program, this is why we're all here. We're going to hear Kelvin Myers, and Jean is going to do the introduction. <laughs> this has been a presentation of the Dallas Genealogical Society. If you're already a member, thank you. Your membership dues are supporting this and other society activities. If you're not yet a member, I hope you consider joining. You can become a member for as little as $35 a year, and you can join by going to our website, dallasgenealogy.org, and clicking on the membership tab.